Mikro. So it's all set then, just gotta close yeah, it on. Yeah, that's it. That's you ran the magnet through the grease and find any real medical metal particles, so shouldn't be any problems there. Yeah, fortunately these gears, the teeth on these gears didn't just shatter off like on some of the ones. Now we've had the pleasure of sort of this. Pleasure of wrecking ourselves actually. Don't don't do wheelies on one of these tractors. Do not do that. Want the hammer? Yeah. And it's got a snap ring. Thank God we bought that little tool. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. Yeah, cool. That's it for that. Sweet. Before we put the cover back on, we got to put some RTV sealant around the edge of this thing so it doesn't leak and so nothing gets in it. You don't need too much because it'll be on there nice and tight with those 17 screws. Follow the bead of where the old stuff is. That'll do you nicely. Ooh, the burning candle. Don't get too close to the axle. Make sure you put a little around the screw that goes to the center. You don't want any grease leaking out there or water getting in. I think that's good, right? Yep. Before we put the cover on, we just want to double check everything. Make sure that this little shifter gear selector has got is, has the pin in this little channel. There we go. Now we can put the cover on. No. No shit. Nice. Let's make sure it shifts. It feels like okay. yeah. Okay. All right. Now we put all the bolts back in. Now, 16 of these screws are the same. They're all these, these shorter ones. And then that, you get that one big long one that goes to the center. I'll do the big long one last. Gonna put them down loosely, kind of opposite from each other because I don't want the, the silicone squirting out on me.
I don't know what the torque rating is for this, but uh, it's aluminum, aluminum casing, so don't go nuts or you'll be sorry. I just put them on until they seem snug. So far it's worked for me. So now, take your 3 16 Allen wrench, and undo this little plug. Be careful, don't lose that. Now take the ball, drop it in the hole, and take the spring, Push it right on down and take this little bolt. This is what gives the uh, gear selector the click. That you know you are in the gear you, you wanted. And it also holds in that gear. That's true. Just tighten that down. You don't have to tighten it too much because then it would be really hard to shift it. I usually go so it's top of that bolt is just below flush. See how that feels. Ow. See how that feels. Oh yeah. Okay. Put the pulley on. Yep, that's in there. Snap brings in. Let's pop the shoe in the little hole. Push the disc on until it stops. Here's the brake caliper. This thing's easy. It's just held on with two screws. Usually this is all the same. It just goes on just like that. It's held on with these two screws. All you gotta do, bolt the uh, gear selector handle on, put the tractor on the, or put the transaxle on the tractor, put your wheel keys in, put your tires on, and you're done.